Greetings, nerdlings, and welcome to Amalgam Nation Presents World of Lorecraft, Herocraft, Garona Halforsen Edition. The birth of Garona was orchestrated by Gul'dan, who bred one of his orcish warriors to a Draenei female. The result was a child that, as discovered later, looked surprisingly human. Gul'dan had her magically aged and tortured, and eventually used a powerful magical spell to control her mind to ensure obedience. Grona was raised in barracks with her father's people and hated by the larger orcs for being different. Their claims and beliefs of her being ugly and deformed would reflect how she felt about herself for years to come. Her birth mother's brother, however, the Vindicator Murad, did not care that Grona was half-orc. Having learned his sister had born a child, he began searching for his niece, a search that would stretch on for many years. Having travelled throughout Draenor, Garona was well versed in the culture of the Orcs, making her an invaluable asset to the Shadow Council. She was inducted into the Warlock-controlled Storm Reaver clan, and quickly became the chief interpreter of the Shadow Council and Gul'dan's personal spy and assassin. However, Garona belonged to no clan, and held no allegiance to one. Due to her mixed blood, she was condemned to remain an outcast forever and had to rely upon her wits to keep herself alive in the harsh world. Gul'dan took advantage of this and would force her to train constantly to hone her skills in amusing spectacles and attempts to have her killed off, turning her into a fierce warrior and forcing her to prove her worth to the orcs. Upon arriving in Lazaroth, Grona's experience lent a great deal to her insight with their newest foe, the humans. She was a member of one of the first raiding parties into Azeroth, and also one of the few to confront the Guardian Medivh, also known as the Magus. While her party was wiped out, she was spared and sent back to relay a message to the warlock, Gul'dan. After a period of time, she returned and met with the Magus on many occasions. Eventually, she was granted the title of Emissary and sent to Karazhan. It was there that she met Khadgar, Medivh's apprentice and observer from Dalaran. Khadgar was at first furious at her presence, but the Magus demanded Khadgar treat her with respect. A bond of trust formed between the two when they had to combine their skills to defeat a bizarre demon that appeared in the library of the Great Tower. Garona and Khadgar continually criticised each other's race while defending their own. Eventually, Garona mentioned to Khadgar that the Orcs had been arriving on Azeroth via a gateway known as the Dark Portal. Garona also began to respect the Magus Medivh a great deal, and began to question where her true loyalties lie. Despite being a spy, she reported that the old man had told her everything she wanted to know. She felt that she could never break his trust. She even made the comment that the bond of trust had made her feel more human, that she felt Medivh had a grand dream to bring something better to this world. It may have been around this time that Medivh fathered Garona's son, Madan. Due to Medivh's eventual bizarre behaviour, Khadgar and Garona felt it necessary to investigate and uncover any connection between his actions and the sudden arrival of the Orcs. Using a spell to call forth a vision of the past, Khadgar and Garona discovered that Medivh was in fact the man who had brought the Orcs into Azeroth, thus uncovering his plans of murder and deceit. This shook Garona to the core, and while she initially thought it was a misfire of the spell, she eventually accepted the truth. After a short battle with Medivh, where Khadgar used his powers to summon a vision of Aegwyn that distracted the Magus, the two escaped and made their way to the former kingdom of Azeroth. Despite a small interruption in their journey, they eventually met up with Lord Anduin Lothar. They told their story to Lothar and King Lian Rin of Azeroth, but Lian could not believe it was true. Despite Lian's scepticism, it was Lothar who realised that the Magus had truly gone insane. At his suggestion, a small raiding party was gathered to confront Medivh and Karazhan. Later that very evening, Garona donned the colours of Azeroth at Lothar's request and joined the party as they set out via griffins to the tower. After searching about the tower, they soon came across a hidden passageway downward. It led into a mirror image of the tower itself, where Medivh's second shadow, Sargaris, dwelled. It was also at this time that both Garona and Khadgar witnessed something that would forever change the half-orc. Karzan presented Garona with a vision of her future, where she was forced to watch in horror as future Garona murdered King Lian during the siege against Stormwind. 
For a while, Garona was terrified of what she knew would eventually come to pass. Leanne was one of the few people who had ever treated her with kindness, and she held no desire to betray or kill him. However, Khadgar finally snapped her out of her state of shock and forced her to focus on the more important matter at hand. He told her that if the vision was true, then it meant they would both get out of Karazhan alive, since he had previously seen a vision of his own future as well. And that if it was false, then she could die taking comfort in the knowledge that she wasn't destined to betray King Leanne or the humans. Eventually they found Medivh who unleashed all the powers bestowed upon him by his mother and the demon lord Sargeras. Garona now boiling with anger at Medivh's betrayal and perhaps hoping to die rather than live out the vision she had seen, attacked the Magus head on, only to be struck down by a powerful spell. Medivh expressed disappointment in Garona, telling her that he had hoped she of all people would understand what he was going through and not oppose him. Feeling little remorse for the half-orc, he then touched her head and cast a second spell, filling her mind with the doubts and the visions that he himself had carried. She fell to the floor, incapacitated. During this small skirmish, Gul'dan had sensed Medivh's end was near and used a spell to enter his mind. Medivh had teased Gul'dan with images of the powerful artifact known as the Eye of Sargeras in order to persuade him to have the orcs invade the human world. Gul'dan attempted to pry the knowledge of the artifact and its whereabouts from the Magus's mind before his demise. Moments later, after much conflict, Medivh was finally slain by Khadgar and Lothar. Gul'dan was still deep within Gul the Guardian's thoughts, trying to find the location of the Eye of Sargeras when Medivh was killed. A massive mental assault befell Gul'dan, and he lapsed into a coma. Garona was nowhere to be found. Soon after, Garona became a trusted confidant to King Lian. Due to Medivh's mind games, she was unable to form a true allegiance. She reported to King Lian the inner workings of the Horde and how he could use it to his advantage. After her release by Orc forces during a raid on Northshire Abbey, she was ordered, presumably by the Shadow Council, to kill King Lian. Her vision had become a reality, but she was unable to disobey the order as she was still under the influence of Gul'dan's magic. She carried out the task and with a deep sadness murdered King Lian, cutting his heart out. Lian's son, Prince Varian, witnessed the murder and was shocked beyond belief. Years later, even into his adulthood, Varian found himself confused and unable to understand why Garona was crying while she carried out his father's assassination. At the time, she was pregnant with her son, Madan. Gul'dan, who was still in a coma at this time, was unable to keep the Horde in check or give orders to Blackhand. Orgrim Doomhammer, also known as the Backstabber, had suspected Blackhand was merely Gul'dan's puppet for some time and used this situation to his advantage. Orgrim challenged Blackhand in single combat and killed him and seized the mantle of Warchief. His spies found Garona and Orgrim ordered her to be taken prisoner. The orcs brought her back and Orgrim had her tortured nearly to the brink of death until she finally revealed the secret location of the Shadow Council and Gul'dan's loyalists to Orgrim. Orgrim led a secret assault on the Shadow Council and destroyed it, killing nearly all the warlocks and practitioners of fell magic and ultimately took complete control of the Horde. Garona eventually would flee the orc and human settlements and disappeared into the wilds. Spies of an unknown faction continued searching for Garona even after the Second War. She would avoid them all and in time gave birth to Madan. She sought out her friend, the ancient undead mage, Meryl Winterstorm, and citing her assassination of King Leanne, she told Meryl that she was a danger to her child and trusted the baby to him. Informing him of the baby's name, she asked that he never tell Madan who his mother was. Bidding Meryl farewell, she disappeared from the rest of the world, but would keep watch over her son from afar. Garona continued watching over her son. At the time of World of Warcraft The Burning Crusade, Madan was attacked by a Twilight's Hammer clan party, formed by an ogre, an orc, a tauren, a night elf, and a forsaken. As they were beating him, she suddenly appeared and killed the entire party. Later, she and her son were captured by more Twilight's Hammer members. She was taken to Ankaraj, but Madan was released. 
When she arrived, she found that Chieftain Chogal was still alive, and that he knew the spell that Gul'dan used on her mind to force her to do things against her will. He sent her to Theramore to assassinate the newly returned King Varian Wren, thereby using her to ruin any possible chance of a human orc alliance. Garona was also ordered to assassinate secondary targets, Prince Anduin Wren and Warchief Troll but was ordered to kill King Varian Wren at the summit at any cost. This attack failed, and she was captured by Jaina Proudmoore. While Madan was recaptured by the Twilight's Hammer Clan, Jaina and Aegwyn discovered the spell placed on her mind, but could not remove it without causing her great pain and possible death. She made a deal with Valera Sanguinar despite this, agreeing to endure the pain and gave them the information they required if Valera used it to go save her son from the Twilight Hammer Clan. Thank you for watching and as always remember, play the game and game to play.